Another important piece of evidence comes from the mitochondrial DNA research on the origin of domestic dogs in the Americas. This research shows that dogs in the Americas were originally domesticated from wolves in Europe or the Near East and not from American wolves, over 9,000 years ago. It is important to note that Europe and the Near East are areas where Indo-European or Caucasian peoples have historically inhabited and currently inhabit. The Near East received its name from it being east of Europe but nearer to Europe than the countries of the Far East such as China and Japan. Near Eastern countries include places like Turkey, Iran, Iraq, Syria and other non-European countries near the Mediterranean Sea and Persian Gulf. A paper was presented by Dr. Jennifer Leonard and colleagues at the 5th International Ancient DNA Conference in Manchester, England in July 2000. At the time Dr. Leonard and colleagues were academicians at UCLA, in the Department of Organismic Biology, Ecology and Evolution. Since this is an extremely important paper, let's take a few minutes to analyze it in detail. In the abstract of that paper it was stated that, quote, The archaeological record suggests that dogs were domesticated 12,000 to 14,000 years ago in the Near East or Europe and that they were present in North America by 9,000 years ago. End quote. To clarify, what she is saying is that these dogs were domesticated in regions inhabited by Caucasian peoples meaning Europe or the Near East up to 14,000 years ago, and then these dogs arrived in the Americas 9,000 years ago. Next the article states, quote, Since the Bering Land Bridge closed around the same time as dogs are thought to have been domesticated, the presence of early dogs in America is a puzzle. She is referring to the fact that the Bering Land Bridge was blocked with ice and glaciers during the last ice age which occurred at the same time that these dogs migrated from Europe and the Near East. It's a puzzle only if you assume that the first immigrants must have come from over the Bering Strait, and not across the Atlantic Ocean from Europe by sea along the polar ice sheet. The next important quote from that paper states, quote, Mitochondrial DNA sequences from pre-Columbian dogs show that these animals have the same origin as Eurasian dogs. End quote. They are saying that dogs which existed in the Americas before the arrival of Christopher Columbus are genetically the same as what she calls Eurasian dogs, meaning dogs from Europe or the Near East. Next the authors state, quote, the dog samples are off from Amarind archaeological sites in Mexico, Peru and Bolivia. End quote. Again, the oldest human remains found in current-day Mexico are those of the 13,000-year-old Panan Woman III, a Caucasian woman found near current-day Mexico City and featured in another chapter in this documentary bearing her name. Second, the region of South America where current day Peru and Bolivia currently are situated is where an ancient white skin tribe known as the Chapacoyas existed until the late 1400s when they were conquered and destroyed by the Incas. Most importantly, James Guthrie's 2001 paper reviewing decades of research showing European African and South Asian genetic markers known as HLAs or human lymphocyte antigens, not only suggested European markers in North America, but also showed markers most often found in the Basque peoples of France and Spain also being found in the ancient Paracas mummies of Peru. Quote, Mummies from Paracas Peru possessed both A and B antigens. The CDE allele has its highest frequency among Basques, who retain traits of an ancient European population but CDE also remains at high levels in Africa and India. End quote. Again, there is absolutely no evidence of either African, South Asian or Indian dog DNA suggested in these papers. The only common connection between these lines of evidence are genetic markers found in both European and Peruvian dogs and humans. The last important part is, quote, Genetic analyses of human populations suggests that these populations resulted from the first wave of humans invading the New World. The presumed early arrival of these migrants supports the hypothesis of a very old domestication of dogs in the Old World. End quote. In other words, dogs were domesticated from wolves in Europe or the Near East, and then came with the first migrants to the Americas. All parts of this abstract are completely consistent with a Caucasian first, model of human migration to the Americas, probably from Europe or the Near East. 
It is also consistent with other lines of research such as human mitochondrial DNA evidence showing haplogroup X DNA markers in both human Indian tribes and Caucasian peoples living in Europe, Turkey and Lebanon. In other words, Europe and the Near East. These human DNA findings showed a link between Indians and Caucasians 12,000 to 36,000 years ago, and are in the same range as the estimated 9,000 years ago that European or Near Eastern dogs entered the Americas as well. Last. As opposed to the Near East, the Far East is where the Mongoloid, or broad and wide skulked Asian people inhabit, as well as where the Ainu come from. Countries in the Far East include among others, Japan and China. Dr. Leonard in her paper does not mention the Far East as the origin of these American dogs. Other articles that echo these findings include an article by Kate Dowkey on the Genome News Network, which stated, quote, Scientists used DNA fingerprinting techniques to show that new world dogs were not descended from wolves in the Americas. Rather, these dogs were descendants of wolves in Asia and Europe. End quote. Also, Another paper presented in 2005 at the 30th World Congress of the World Small Animal Veterinary Association, in Mexico reported, quote, The genetic data have shown us that dogs were domesticated from gray wolves in Europe or Asia but not India. End quote. In conclusion, the most likely explanation for this pattern of evidence is that European or Near Eastern Caucasian peoples brought dogs with them to the Americas over 9,000 years ago. Some of these quotes specifically mention Europe and the Near East, or alternatively, Europe and Asia, but in all cases, Europe is mentioned as the source of these first domesticated dogs in America. It is obvious that the scientific debate has implicitly moved away from a Siberian first model, with Europe mentioned at nearly every turn. In sum, this research tracing the origins of American dogs adds another piece to the puzzle and is again entirely consistent with an ancient Caucasian migration to the Americas.